I started running in 2008. It actually started before then when uh, I graduated from college and I was overweight, heavier than I wanted to be. And I decided that I wanted to make a life change and I ate healthier, started working out, entered my first 5K race, had fun with it, and then I just progressed from there. There are some days where I want that space to think about work or the things that are going on in my life. And I have no external things coming at me. There's no news feed, there's no Twitter feed. It's just me and my thoughts. And I can think about work or I can think about my family life and the things I want to improve upon. I chose to do my first 100 mile race on the day of my 40th birthday. It seemed like a really uh, opportune time to celebrate turning 40, uh, just to be able to say that I did that. My birthday is in November, and knowing that I'd be running overnight, I didn't want to be running in freezing temperatures. Uh, so I found a race in uh, Southern Illinois, and it's usually in the 50s overnight. And on this particular day, it got into the teens. And so as I'm running overnight, uh, I'm exhausted. And at this point, I just want to get to the finish. In races, as in life in general, you're thrown all these obstacles, and then what you're faced with is, how do I handle this? You know, there's only so much in my control. And, and during that race, my water bottles, which I carry um, on my chest, it was so cold that the water was freezing. So I didn't have any fluid to drink. Uh, my wife had to scatter around rural Illinois trying to find convenience stores that were open in the middle of the night uh, to find water for me to drink. Planning is very important, um, whether it's financial planning or planning to take on a certain uh, race or a certain distance. Um, the earlier you start, the better. Getting started early in financial planning allows you the chance to make mistakes on occasion because those are going to happen. Uh, but you can always make course corrections along the way as long as you've given yourself enough time. Achieving little wins along the way, I think are helpful to make it become something that moves from uh, something that's less desirable or that you want to postpone for another day to something that you really enjoy doing. During 2020, I did get a chance to run a 100 miler. I ended up finishing the race and it was the middle of the night. I didn't expect many people to be out there, uh, but with uh, just a few miles left, I was told that surprising to me that I was in the lead of the race and I was probably going to end up winning it. And uh, to see me finish it, my wife brought my kids out. My two boys woke up in the middle of the night to watch me uh, finish the 100 miler and it was just a nice way to finish. In financial planning, you have these long range goals. Maybe it's uh, preparing for retirement. And if you start early enough, it seems so far away, it can almost seem unobtainable. But you also set smaller goals along the way. Starting on any difficult task is going to cause some nervousness or tension. And if you just reach for these smaller goals step by step, you realize that each step is getting you one step closer to that long range goal. Running and financial planning both require a level of commitment and your ability to stick with a plan even when you may not want to. They both also require consistency, going at it day after day, whether you're setting aside money for a financial goal or putting in a day's worth of miles. Each step that you take, each dollar that you save, is getting you a little bit closer to your goal. When it comes to financial planning and running, it all starts today. Let's get started. Thank you.